by. I go by Duke Johnson, also known as D.O. Caesar, also known as Papa Doc, also known as Doc J. You know, I've been doing this for a while. Uh, but right now, we we working with Duke Johnson, also known as D.O. Caesar. Yeah. All right. Money in the house, SMG. Moneyton is Huntington, West Virginia. Moneyton just sounded a little liver than Huntington. You know what I mean? When we're trying to talk shit about our crib, Huntington don't really sound too motherfucking appealing, but Moneyton does. You know what I mean? Either um, the homie John John or Mitch probably made it. You know what I mean? Made the word up. But they were really just taking. Um, Money, Huntington, and making it with an M. You know what I mean? I'm the one that made it M O N E Y T O N. Like all the tats you see and all that shit. I'm the one, me and my folks is the one that put that on the map. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, regardless if I actually made the, the idea, we really did put it down. You know what I mean? They acted like some out of town motherfuckers made it up because it's money down here. There is money down here, but we made it just to be, you know, like I said, have a liver, a liver name for your crib. We have some things. I, I have some things. We have some things. I'll say, um, first, I'd rather talk about what I have in the works for my homies. I got a homeboy named Truth Hurts. I got a homeboy named Dante, Dirt Monster. Um, we're working on their stuff, you know, making sure that they have a nice little mixtape together. Actually, they kind of working on mixtapes and albums at the same time, you know. Um, me and Mud Shine have an album called Amelia Ray. We about 10, 10 songs into it. Probably eight of them, eight, eight or six or something, to make it than what we have already. Um, my project I have is called How I Got These Scars. Um, I'm done recording it. I'm really in the um, mixing, mastering, tweaking process. I'll definitely have it done on my birthday, which is next month. I'll be about 800. So, uh, you know, I want to have it done by then. Uh, hopefully, I want to help me shoot some of these videos. I'm trying to shoot a video for every single song. I do see myself engineering, producing, you know what I mean? Me and the, the little homies are working on music. I might make the hook for that song, you know what I'm saying? We, like, they might get stuck in a place and I tell them this, you know? It, it's, I'm still in the music making processes and if it's not me that is uh, truly successful, one of these other ones will be, you know what I'm saying? So somewhere along the line, I'm still going to be involved in music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Period. It doesn't matter if I'm the one performing or not. I've gotten to that point. As a guy, no. Yeah, all of, it's my therapy. It like if I was a janitor, I would be rapping about cleaning up the kids' vomit and shit. I'd be like, man, I'm sick of these kids. Spit, you know what I mean? I would still have something to get off my chest. Like if I was working at UPS, I tell the motherfuckers all the time. I would have songs that say, I'm sick of these boxes, these goddamn boxes. You know what I mean? That's just part of who I am. But what I mean is I do not have to be in front of a camera. I don't have to be the man that's playing anymore. I have people that are talented. Everybody's Superman, right? When they rap, everybody's Superman. But really nobody is. So it's when you can actually share some of the weaknesses and you actually move so you can become a better artist. Everybody wants to talk about when they're ready to get Because you're, what you're doing is exposing yourself to the public. You're exposing yourself to be judged, and you say, don't judge me. Uh, I always go by this mantra, the truth is the truth all the time. Anybody, anybody, not even just locally, but anybody is not possibly doing everything you say. And it's okay, because like I said, we get to playing roles or something, you know what I mean? So that is the entertainment value of it. What happens with the local type artist is that you know these people. Yeah. So when they get to talking this and that, motherfucker do a little bit of research. God forbid they already just know who you are and they're going it's just not gonna fly with them. If I was to burn a hundred CDs right now and I go out and try to sell them to a hundred people I know, right? The first thing they're gonna be like is like uh Doc, I thought you was my nigga man, what's up man? I can't get one of these for free. 
But if I had a bag of weed or something, you wouldn't ask me for a blunt for free. You wouldn't give me my little five dollars, my little ten dollars, right? I worked hard. I'm, I'm bleeding in here. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm working hard, and the motherfucker don't really respect that because they think it's magic. Like we just somehow we just sit in this motherfucker and dope songs come out. They don't even understand it. We really work at this. Like motherfuckers don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have only the people that give a fuck is the people that are somewhere else. They don't know anything about you. They don't know your history and shit. They just fuck with your music. That's when it becomes important to tell the truth. And if you tell enough truth, people will, any anybody with sense, would know when you're straying off of your, your usual path. You, you dig what I'm saying? If I tell a story, somewhere along the line, if you don't understand, I'm just telling the story. You dig what I mean? Even if I say I, you understand what I mean? They'll take it like, oh, well, he said he did this. You did, did you listen to the story? I also said I went to jail. I also said I did this. You know what I'm saying? Like, in this whole thing. Came back. Like, no, that's not... You know, do you understand what I mean? You are responsible for what you say. That's what I want to say. I can't get on this fucking camera and be like, fuck, huh? And then I see you again. <laughs> like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's not... And then what, what are we going to do now? You know, where do we go from there? You understand? It's, you know, rocking the mic... I don't know about it. I don't know if a lot of you young niggas know about this, but rocking the mic is just going at it. It's whatever. You know, I know a few young niggas that do just rock the mic. You know, you don't have to be talking about nothing. I think, but some of y'all might be calling it swag rap or something. But it's really just, you know, I rap better than you. Know, fucking your bitch. I'm fly. You're not. You know, that's the basics. This hip hop been like that for a long time, right? But what's going to separate you is when you can actually open up and share real shit, you know what I mean? Because what happens is everybody can fucking rock the mic. Not everybody can share, you dig? Like, everybody can't, like, let a motherfucker know that I'm like you or you're like me or show you some scenarios where motherfucker lose. Like, motherfucker don't win all the time. I don't know one motherfucker that's worth shit that ain't never lost nothing, you hear me? I don't know one person, if you know him, he about to lose, you dig what I'm talking about? Just think about that, you are responsible for what you say, you are allowed to just rock the mic, and then somewhere along the line you need to balance it with some real shit, you know what I mean, don't, just don't, don't be one-sided, don't be, you know what I mean, I'm not trying to make all you motherfuckers, Martin Luther King, Malcolm, Malcolm X and shit, but just think about what you're saying, and decide that this is some shit I fuck with for the rest, you know what I mean? Because once you release it, everybody hear it, that's what you are. You know what I mean? Be yourself. Don't be afraid to be yourself, ever. You know what I mean? 